My name's Peter Barton. I'm Vice President of Innovation and Marketing at Schneider Electric Process Automation. I'd like to talk for a few seconds about the profit engine of industry. You know, before we get into the profit engine, there's a driving force in industry that's taking place right now, right as we speak, where the speed of industrial business is increasing faster and faster and faster with time. This was kicked off by the deregulation of the electric power grids, but it's gone through all the different vari business variables at the operation level of industry. You know, historically, business management was able to manage their business with monthly reports. But as the speed of business grew faster and faster, the monthly reports were just insufficient for business management. On the other hand, the operations were always controlled by real-time controls. So as the speed of business continues to increase, we have to start thinking about how real-time controls will impact the business of industry. And it impacts every part of industry, from efficiency to reliability, safety risk, environmental risk, all the way to profitability. All of these variables are speeding up and industrial businesses need help to bring them back under control. At Schneider Electric, we talk about this from the perspective of innovation at every level. We start with smart control. And what we mean by smart control is we've for decades been applying real-time process and logic control to control the efficiency of industrial processes. And that's good. That's absolutely necessary. It's just not sufficient as the speed of industry continues to increase. As we move forward, we'll have to look at applying real-time controls, not only to efficiency, but to reliability, safety, environmental risk, and even profitability. That's what we call smart control, applying control in the way it needs to be applied to drive bottom line results for our clients' businesses. And this starts at the asset level, right at the equipment asset level in plants. We model the safety, the environmental sustainability, the reliability, the profitability, and the efficiency of each asset. We bring them under control. And as you bring each equipment asset under control, they combine to unit assets, which then combine to area assets, and they combine to plant assets all the way up to enterprise assets. So starting at the bottom with smart control, we can bring every asset into control. And by doing that, we can optimize the performance of those assets and we can optimize them around the operational profit profitability they deliver safely. Now on top of that, we have the empowered workforce. Not every asset can be automatically controlled today because we just don't have the knowledge base to close the loop with technology on every asset. That's where people come in. People have huge strengths in terms of adaptability, understanding what's going on, being able to take multiple data sources and assimilate them. We have got to empower every person in the industrial operation with the information they need to make good decisions, profitability-based decisions in real time about the actions and activities they perform. In doing that, every person will learn over time how to perform their job functions in a way that optimizes profitability and ensures that that optimized profitability is done safely. So we start with smart control, we move to the empowered workforce, we build a huge um, digital experience for every person in the operation. In fact, we're working with digital twin technology that comes out of the industrial internet of things to be able to completely model industrial assets, have operators propose a change that they may want to make, drive it into the digital twin, and that twin will predict what the profitability will be hours from now, allowing us to guide operators even for events that may not have happened yet. That's what we're talking about when we talk about the empowered workforce. The third component of innovation at every level is what we call asset optimization. That is combining smart control and the empowered workforce around every single asset in the operation. By doing that, we make every asset autonomous and optimal. And by making those assets autonomous and optimal, we drive more value safely from the operation. You see, by combining the smart control, the empowered workforce into optimized assets, we're able to convert all of the automation technology, everything that's been installed in industrial plants over the last number of years, 
into a new model, into a new approach, an approach we refer to as the profit engine of industry. That profit engine will take all this technology and convert it to drive operational profitability safely.